Welcome back. It's 20 minutes past the top of the hour. I hope you're on time. The June jobs report just released this morning. The Labor Department reports more than 372,000 jobs were added in June. That outpaced expectations. In terms of unemployment, for the fourth straight month, the rate was unchanged at 3.6 percent. So uh, that means no additional jobless claims. That's a good thing. Uh, but let's get a reaction to all these numbers. Uh, Melissa Armo is joining us, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Uh, you know, I, I just want to know if this report is good news. Under normal circumstances, adding more jobs, that's positive. I understand, especially in light of the fact that people are fearful of a recession. But do we have enough people to fill those 370-something thousand so-odd jobs? Well, we do. But unfortunately, you know, we're in a situation post-COVID where a lot of people still have not gone back to work for various reasons. And right now, even though we had a good number today, the market is actually down. It's selling off a lot right now this morning. The market is not looking at that as positive. And there's two reasons for that. One, the market's down this morning because they're afraid that the Fed is going to raise interest rates even more than anticipated now. Because if the number had been bad, the Fed might have backed off in rates. People are worried if rates go up too high too soon between now and the end of the year that that's going to slow the economy down, which of course it is going to do. The Fed is trying to prevent a recession, but they may actually push us into a recession. Some people are saying we're in a recession now. And the other reason the market's down this morning is that Twitter is down a lot. Twitter tanked last night after hours because the deal where Elon Musk is supposedly going to buy Twitter may be falling apart. Yeah, and, and that is major uh, news, especially after all the smack talk. But thanks for putting the jobs report in context, because, again, we, we have to take that bit of data that's been released today and put it in context with everything that's going on. Layoffs soaring to a 16-month high in June. So what's up with that? Well, again, companies are trying to cut back. One of the biggest expenses for companies is, of course, payroll. So they're trying to come back because they're having increased price costs. And again, it's because of the fact that mostly it's oil. Oil is up. The cost of oil is up. Diesel fuel is very expensive right now. So it's expensive, and therefore companies are spending more money to get all the goods and things that we buy to places. So again, if we're in a situation right now where I don't know how things are going to get better between now and the end of the year, even if we have a lower unemployment rate going forward in the next month, even if that happens, I don't really think that's going to prevent a recession. Same thing with rising interest rates. So companies are trying to cut back. They're laying people off. They are having more expenses. And it's one of these situations where when are things going to improve? I think we got to look long term out, maybe the next 12 months, maybe the next 24 months. People have to kind of ride this out a little bit. And I know people are nervous about the market falling and their long term investments and retirement accounts, but they got to hang on because if you're young, if you're under the age of 50, for example, you've got plenty of time for the market to come back. If you're ready in retirement, then you need to sit down and have a, a, an actual meeting with a financial advisor to see what we're doing because the market could be lower. Like I said, we could sell off today. Yeah. One really quick question, if you could encapsulate it in about 20 seconds. Is there anything else from this jobs report today that we need to pay attention to some clue about the state of the economy right now? Well, I mean, again, people were saying we're in a recession. I don't think we are yet. I don't think we are yet. So I think that's one positive note. But again, the market isn't reacting positive to that. And remember, the market is a forward indicator of things to come. So the market it almost like predicts what's going to come in the future. So when you see selling right now, it means things in the future could get worse. Just like when you see buying, sometimes it's the opposite. So, again, the market is a leading indicator of things to come in the economy. And we need to save our cash. All right, pay off that debt. Thank you so much, Melissa Armo. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Okay, let's get to the weather. Uh, speaking of the weekend.